Krachwerke, and I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, is German for Noiseworks. And if you check out Noiseworks' website, which is linked in the description, you'll find a pedal company dedicated to the creation of loud, angry noise. Today, we're looking at their dirty mid-boost pedal, which can absolutely boost your mids and can do a lot more besides. Full disclosure, I'm friends with the owner of the pedal company, and he sent me this pedal for the video. Uh, it's in fact an approved prototype, just in case you're wondering why it's not in box brush condition. It's still a handsome thing though, uh, in this mid-sized enclosure and finished in black with these 70s reflector knobs and the sturdy selector switch to engage the cut, which we'll come back to. All top jacks too, I f***ing love top jacks. So like I said, if you head on over to the product page, you'll find a number of demo videos that show off the more extreme, dare I say brutal ways you can use this pedal. But I'll be honest that the one that intrigued me the most was the one that described this as a tube screamer killer, which I'm sure you'll agree is a bold claim to make. So it's got a volume, a tone, and a gain pot, just like the famous green pedal, but it also has this handy cut and full switch, which is very encouraging if, like me, you like tube screamers, but sometimes you wish they didn't completely wipe out your low end. But enough talk, let's run through some sounds. First, let's hear just the volume pot in action. I've set the tone pot around 11 o'clock because I'm using a Telecaster and I want to tame that brightness. The switch is on full. So the volume goes from full mute right through to a massive boost that's pushing the Jet City right into overdrive. So let's say you wanted to use this as a solo boost, you could turn off the tone to make the tone brighter and put the switch on cut to lose some of that low end you don't want when you're playing a lead part. So that works great, but let's say you're into a cleanish amp and you want a dirty rhythm tone but without the volume increase. Let's dial the volume and tone pots back to around 11 o'clock, put the switch back to full and check out the gain sounds. So there you've got a nice range of quite complex gain. It's, we're not talking high gain here. It's more, you know, tube screamer territory. Okay, but that's reductive. This isn't some tube screamer clone. What you've got here is way more than that, if only because you have the option to cut or leave the bass end, but then there's all this extra volume, and then this tone control has way more edge, so you can set it up to slice right through your mix. And while the character of the overdrive is mid-rangey in a similar way to the tube screamer, it's not exactly the same, so if you wanted a pedal that does a tube screamer thing without actually being just another tube screamer clone, then this would do you nicely. And then you've got all the other stuff going on. It's a pretty sweet deal, really.
I also have to say how much I enjoyed recording this thing. The amp records pretty well anyway, but with this thing through it, I've barely had to mix the guitars in this track at all. Okay, so what doesn't it do? If you're looking for something that you describe as smooth or creamy, then this isn't it. If you dial out the high ends, you get a darker sound, but not necessarily smoother. That's not a criticism, some pedals are just more about the grit, which is great for me because I love a bit of grit. So that's it. The Kraftwerker Dirty Mid Boost is a very good dirt pedal and you should absolutely check it out. Thanks to Helmut for sending it to me. Thanks as always to you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.